welcome to hackahobby.com. Today we're going to use a program called GIMP to prepare an image for a laser engraver and cutting machine. Now I previously did a video that focused on Photoshop. Now Photoshop of course is extremely popular but it is also very expensive. Uh, GIMP is an open source paint program which is actually very powerful as well and because it's open source it doesn't cost anything. So first if you don't have GIMP already on your computer you can go to www.gimp.org. I've actually already installed GIMP on my machine and uh, I've already opened it. Now if this is your first time working with GIMP um, one of the options that I like to choose which I've already selected if you go into Windows, you'll notice that I have a check next to single window mode. Let's uncheck that for a second. Okay. I like it because it gives me a little more uh, tools visible already. So here we go. You'll also notice that I have actually also brought in an image of this little girl, um, just like I did on my Photoshop tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. You'll notice many of these things are very similar to Photoshop. Uh, they're just in slightly different places. Now the first thing we're going to do when we, uh, after we've brought this video in, is we're gonna, going to uh, change the resolution. So we're going to go to Image, Scale Image, and Resolution, again, that's laser dependent. I, I currently have a small eBay laser, uh, those ones that cost anywhere from $500 to $7, the price does vary. And I'm going to type in 140 dpi as my resolution. Let's go ahead and click scale, and it will look like nothing happened, but let's go back in and take a look. Image, scale image, you'll notice it is now 140 dpi. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the inches. I'm going to inches, and right now the image is 12 by 9 inches. I want 5 inches. So I'm going to click 5, click scale. There we go. So it's roughly about 5 inches by 4 inches at this point. So after we have the image the size that we want, we're going to actually get rid of all this color. So we're going to go into Image, Mode, click on Grayscale, and now all our color is gone. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to increase the contrast and brightness. So go into Colors, Contrast, Brightness, and let's adjust this a little bit. Again, you want your image to have some good se separation of the of the lighter and darker colors. So in this case I've set brightness to 3, contrast to 45. Go ahead and click OK. Now the next thing we're going to go into filters and we are going to go enhance. You'll remember this is again we're going to use the unmask sharp option which all is also in Photoshop. Go to unsharp mask, click it, And we can expand this window to see more of the image. Okay, just again, we want to bring out the edges of this picture, which the settings that I have here already are going to work fairly well. Radius 5 and threshold 11. And amount, which is the middle line here, is set to 2.52. But again, you'll have to tinker and toy with that, find settings that work well for you. Go ahead and click OK. And one final step, we're going to convert this to a two-color image. Image, Mode, go to Indexed. Now, we want to make sure you, you're, you're using the Use Black and White 1-Bit Palette. So you want to make sure that button is pushed in. And then, as far as dithering goes, you want to be on the second one down. Typically, it says Floyd Steinberg Normal, and we're going to say Convert. Here you have it. 
you'll notice the image has now been converted and this should actually laser engrave really well. One final note, uh, GIMP is a little bit different when saving your image. If I go to File, Save As, and let's say you want to save it as a, save it as a BMP because that's what lasers work best for lasers. You'll notice that you do not see a place to choose BMP, JPEG, GIF, or whatever other format you're used to. So let's cancel. You actually have to go to File, Export, and you can type in your name. It already says child up here. And if you go down here, you'll notice all of the formats that you're used to seeing. Well, that's about it for this tutorial. Again, this is a starting point for, for getting your images to look better uh, as you laser engrave them. I guess I should make one note that if you are going to be laser engraving on acrylic or clear acrylic or glass, you actually need to invert this image. The blacks will be white and the whites will be black. Anyway, thank you for uh, watching this tutorial and uh, we hope to have more videos coming soon. Thank you.